Here he is, top of the order. And her first pitch, chopped on the ground. Flagged down by the third baseman, Mathis, across the diamond for the first down. How about that play from Zach Mathis on the hot corner? <laughs> How about that? And swung on and missed, strike three. Four pitches for Labus, four strikes and two outs. This one is hit high in the air to shallow left field. The shortstop, Cranford, going out, called off by the left fielder, Willis. Three up and three down in the top of the first inning for A.J. Labus and the LSU Tigers will be coming to back. Mound, but really funny how he described his starting pitcher. 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed, went chasing up and away out of the strike zone. Smith, but not for Merlazzo. And he takes the breaking ball for a called strike three. You know, just a nasty curveball from Acker, and nobody on two outs. I don't know if Acker's going to challenge him or not. We'll see. Went inside with a fastball and missed up and in. Ball four. And Cabrera is the first base run of the ball game. Long ball this year. Hits this one deep into the gap in right center field. Backing up is the right fielder. Harlan to make it right against the wall. How about that? He almost got it. Yeah, ball not carrying it. Get up for Labus. Here's the offering. Oh, I did it get him on the leg? I think it did. So Harlan will be the first base runner for the Oklahoma Sooners. Hit by a pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit straight back up the middle toward DiGiacomo in center field. And he'll back up a couple of steps and make it for out number three. So we play an inning and a half here at Minute Maid Park. Uh, he tried to get him to go, and he did. The Jacobo couldn't hold off the high fastball, so back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the bottom of the set. Help more kids along the way have great lives. Called strike three on the outside corner, and that's going to do it for the top half of the third inning for the Oklahoma Sooners. Three up and three down. John Pilon, executive vice president, thanks for joining. You know, I'm glad God did that for me. And, uh, it, you know, it's kind of a tearing thing, but he understands where he's at, and that's beautiful. And the first pitch to Collier Cranford. Glance game. 3-1 pitch runner on the move. Swung on and missed. Throw down to second base is in time for the out. Making the swipe tag Zaragoza on the throw down from Mitchell. Wow, what a release from Justin Mitchell. Watch how quick he gets rid of this baseball. There's the pitch that drifts back inside and strong throw to second base. He throws a strike just a nip in time to Get Cranford from first base on the steal attempt. You know, if Cranford's lead foot might have been down all the way, and he might have snuck in underneath the tag, but that foot was in the air, and that allowed for the call out. Yeah, no doubt. I think a head first slot, he's safe as well. Caught stealing 2 6, gets the second out. Mathis swings and misses for strike three. So just like that, out of trouble is Dane Acker and the Oklahoma Sitters. We're through three at Minute Maid Park. 2-2 pitch. Bounced on the ground to third. Gobbled up by Mathis. Across the diamond. And it's three up and three down here in the top of the fourth. Pitchers in control so far today at Minute Maid Park in the College Classic. And leading off here is Malazzo. The catcher bounded to short and Zaragoza can't come up with it. And Malazzo will reach on an E6. Yeah, pretty routine play here to Zarek, no doubt. Definitely a threat to run. Slap bug up the middle, but right to the shifted shortstop. Zaragoza steps on the bag for one and over to first to end the inning with a six unassisted three double play. Still scoreless here at Minute Maid Park. On we'll keep our eye on that, but 3-1 pitch hit the left field. Backing up is Willis. And he'll catch it about a step in front of the scoreboard, in front of the Crawford boxes. Halfway home here at Minute Maid Park in a scoreless duel finds himself in college playing in the Shriners Classic. I oh, think really it's amazing. great. Yeah, that ball hits Garza, but... Ouch. Yeah, great story from Levi Prater. And <clears throat> I think, you know, you think back to the years when the Shriners Hospitals were... At second, two outs, 0-2 pitch to C.J. Willis. Swung on and missed. So after hitting the leadoff band, three straight strikeouts for Dane Acker. And we remain scoreless through five here. Um, he, uh, he'll be in more commercials, and uh, I can't wait to spend more time with him. Little soft line drive to second base. Doty brings it in. Alec, always great to see you. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, partner. Thank you, guys. It has.
LSU fans looking for some reason to cheer. 3-2 pitch to Malazzo. Hit straight up in the air. Back into shallow center field. Treadaway comes in. And he'll make the grab. Four out number three. Three up and three down once again for Dane Acker here in the sixth. No score between the Sooners and the Tigers. His very first weekend with a couple of doubles. Scored a couple of runs, but strikes out here to end inning number seven. Seven strikeout for A.J. Labus, who has Oklahoma under control. So, so Saul Garza jumps on the first pitch. Two hopper to shortstop Zaragoza. Low throw, oh, but him. the swipe tag on the way by by Hardman will end the inning. Three up and three down. We are through seven in a tight pitcher's duel here at Minute Maid Park. At the uh, last inning, bottom half of the seventh, the bounding ball, Zaragoza with a field, double clutch, then the throw a little bit off the mark, but Hardman comes off the bag to make the short hop and the tag on Garza going by. First pitch swinging is Mitchell, the left field, and it's out of here. Wow. Home run. Justin Mitchell, first pitch, home run. First hit of the ball game for either team. Unbelievable. How about that? Yeah, what a way to lose your no-hitter if you're A.J. Labus, but what a way to break one up. Justin Mitchell, big fly. You know, fastball that uh, definitely a mistake pitch. It came back in over yeah, the center of the play. So outside setting up, and that ball came right back over the middle center cut. And Justin Mitchell makes Labus pay. Wow. First home run of the season. Kohler sends this one in the air to left center field. And again to Giacomo camping under. And he'll make the catch for out number three. But Justin Mitchell with a leadoff home run in the Crawford boxes is posted the first run of the ball game for either team here at Minute Maid Park. If Bianco can get aboard. Line drive right Whoa. at the shortstop. Zaragoza flags it down. Eighth inning in the books for Dane Acker and the Oklahoma Sooners will take a 1-0 lead to the ninth here at Minute Maid Park. And hit a batter. But the one hit, a solo homer by Justin Mitchell. Sliced off the end of this bat and fair down the first baseline. It'll hit off the wall and kick out toward the field to play. And streaking for its second base is Zaragoza with a leadoff double here in the ninth inning for the Oklahoma Sooners. You know, a great piece of hitting from Zaragoza. Gets the fastball up and in and inside outs it to the right side and he'll pick up the leadoff double. Sooners looking for some insurance here. You know, the first baseman, Beloso, was well off the bag. So a leadoff double. Bring 10. Pokes at the second base on a hop. He'll do his job, get the runner over as Doty throws to first for out number one. And now just 90 feet away from an insurance run is Brandon Zer. Here's the one, two. Swung out and missed, strike three. Big strikeout for Devin Fondo. And the here's the 0-2. Swung on, hit on two hops to the shortstop, Cranford. He'll throw to first, and the side is retired. But the Sooners will take a 1-0 lead to the bottom of the ninth here in the opening game of Sunday action in the Shriners College Classic in Houston. Once again, the 3-2. Inside corner called, strike three, number 11 for Dane Acker. Just paints the glove of Justin Mitchell. Watch Mitchell set up right down the middle. That fastball oh, yeah. center cut. That is there, baby. No doubt about it. Now Zach Mathis will step in. How about that? Coming back from 2-0 to get the field wall. 3-1 pitch to Zach Mathis. Hit in the air to right center field. Tracking over is Treadaway. He's calling. Makes the catch on the edge of the track for out number two. Wow. 3-1 count. Mathis gets a pitch to hit. Just under it. Yeah. Fastball down the middle. I mean to Alex Malazzo. Two outs, the bottom of the ninth. Hit on the ground to short. Zaragoza across. No hitter. No hitter for Dane Acker. And Oklahoma beats LSU by a score of one to nothing. My goodness. 
Well, there is no doubt Dane Acker will never forget this game. <laughs> and look at his teammates coming out to mob him. How about that? Of all things today, Tom, I did not think we were coming to the ballpark no. to witness a no-hitter. We almost saw two of them, two of them <laughs> in the same game. Unbelievable. Holy smokes. What a and game. I'll, and I'll give you something, Mr. Pat Combs. This is the first time in person, start to finish, I have seen a no-hit game. Man, welcome to the club. First time ever. <laughs> welcome to the club. I mean... I was working the post-game show for Mike Scott's no-hitter in 1986 against the Giants, so I had to leave after the sixth inning and go back to the oh, station. Man. So I didn't see that one start to finish. Man, oh, man. Let's well, take a look at the last batter. A gutsy performance by that man right there, Dane Acker. Fastball in. Malazzo squares it up. He got good wood on it. One good hopper good. backhanded by Zaragoza, who made the true throw. Nice backhand stop, and Zaragoza sets his feet well, throws across the diamond, and that completes the no-hitter for Acker. You're not going to find a better baseball game played this year start to finish anywhere. Man. Anywhere. Wow. That was tremendous. Great defense. Tip of the cap to all of these players on both of these teams. You see them lining up and exchanging high fives and fist bumps along the way. But again, you see the Oklahoma teammates mobbing.